Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific, and it will not resonate with every single Aries out there. Contact information is all in the description box. This is for around the third, fourth, sorry, fourth week of September, although time is not linear. We're all on different timelines. So we're going to jump right in for you, Aries. Fourth week of September for Aries. Got some coming out here. I'm also going to pull some Oracle cards for you at the end. Just to give you some more guidance for the week. One more card for Aries, please. Fourth week of September. What do they need to know? Aries. That one wanted to come out. All right. Bottom of the deck this week, we are looking at Major Arcana, the Judgment card. The, the Dead Rising. The Dead Rising is what I heard. Something that you thought might have been over completely might not be completely over. Could be a work situation, could be a past situation with a friend, family member, lover. It's going to be different for all of you. It's not that same annoying person, okay? Could, to, could be someone completely different that you're not expecting. Judgment. Things that have been put to sleep, not being quite put to sleep. Coming up for resurrection. So a decision will need to be made once this, once this resurrection happens, right? A decision will need to be made. A judgment will need to be made. In your past, we are starting with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So this looks very blatant to the fellow tarot understanders out there. There is definitely a breakup here. Something definitely ended. Okay, I would say it definitely could be work as well. Some of you might have lost a job, left a job. But I'm definitely thinking this is based on a romantic relationship or just some sort of long-term situation. Something you were invested in for a very long time. Definitely came to an end. There was a lot of betrayal. There was a lot of lies, backstabbing, things that were done behind your back. All came to an end. You could have been doing this for 10 years, 10 months, 10 weeks, however much. But there was a lot of time invested. Lots of, you know, betraying moments, incidences that all kind of piled up. But the good news is about this is that the worst is behind you. You're not dead. It only made you stronger. But you're very much single and independent definitely coming in in this nine of pentacles energy very efficient a catch you can hold your own even though this thing has ended and it hurts you a lot mentally emotionally in the real world you can hold your own okay you don't need anybody for anything standing very tall head high and that is beautiful that is beautiful in the present position two of pentacles and the king of cups uh, water sign energy here definitely could be dealing with a cancer Pisces or Scorpio but um it looks like if this is not you that is in this king of cups energy this is someone that has very deep feelings but doesn't ever really express those feelings you know you would never know that this person's completely and madly in love with you which is usually the case but they just never say nothing so either you're I don't think this is you I think this is this person that is juggling two thoughts here juggling between two thoughts is what i'm hearing this situation was definitely emotionally unstable in the past represented by that turbulent water in the background there so obviously he's thinking twice but this is definitely him that's juggling these two thoughts because he's all on this water here is all in this water here i think he's trying to think about whether or not to reach back out i think that he is bringing this judgment energy two of pentacles this person could also have a lot on their plate Maybe that's why this came to an end, but I definitely think this person is juggling between two ideas because the King of Cups has a lot of feelings, usually unexpressed. So I'm kind of getting that it either ended in the past because of lack of expression and now this figure, this person, whoever this represents to you is juggling whether or not they should come back and express this, which would bring in this major Harkana card after this cycle already ended and you move forward but someone is realizing that this is love this is pure genuine love but we're not going to go that deep okay in your future energy we're looking at the seven of swords and another ten of pentacles so definitely there was deception here in the past maybe not the type of deception that you may think it was though all right because we're seeing a lot more swords here a lot more swords here seven and three 
7 and 10, there's a 3 of swords. So definitely um, maybe more than one person being involved in the situation. 3 of swords, definitely your heart was broken by this. No doubt. But the deception, I believe, was a self-deception on this King of Cups part. See how he's trying to avoid that Ten of Pentacles energy, which is long-term stability, marriage, retirement, trust funds, children, generational wealth, you know, weddings, all that type of thing. Someone was trying to avoid this type of energy, which I think they kind of knew that this is this is exactly what you deserve, right? Nine of Pentacles, hell yeah, this is what you deserve. Ten of Pentacles, you only got one more Pentacle left, which would be for this King of Cups to drop one of these, choose one, and bring it forward, which would give you guys the ten. But no, someone was deceiving themselves. Whoever is this King of Cups was deceiving themselves in the fact that they really wanted this, that they actually wanted this. Because of that lack of expression, man, that lack of expression, the love was there because we even see the Two of Cups underneath here and the Empress. So they absolutely saw you as someone they could marry. But that Seven of Swords, that Seven of Swords caused a lot of problems, overthinking to the point that you just walked away and ended the whole thing. Right? Because you th you felt deceived, deceived and backstabbed, which in turn you were because the lack of truth is also a lie. Yeah, this King of Cups is, was trying to deny the cups, the emotions, because he knew once the expression was given, this was this is what would have to be. This would come in. A, it's only a matter of time before this type of energy, ten of, ten of Pentacles, would happen. They knew they could have the Ten of Pentacles with you. Maybe someone wasn't quite ready for that yet, right? Which which is what caused all the, the strife in the connection. Let's get some oracles for Aries. Collaboration again. Pisces also got this. You were also in the Pisces reading also as well. You might want to check that out. Number one, starting over. Collaboration, working together. It is time to collaborate. All right, heart is working insect to be the the ant. Sorry, somebody wants to collaborate. Somebody wants to start over. This is what the judgment energy is. Whoever this King of Cups is, is debating whether or not they should bring this energy back in. If they should put you back in the position after they had the opportunity to express and move towards the Ten of Pentacles, the fear, the deception, the you know, trying to pretend like they didn't need all that when they did. So, judgment. Decision will need to be made. Aries, do, don't let your past hold you back. South note. So, you're going to definitely have to make a decision. And it's going to be not in pride. Not based in pride. You just make an honest decision with yourself. Do you want this person? Yes or no? If not, keep it moving. But also, if you do, don't allow anger and pride to prevent you from having what you truly want. Because there's o being over someone and then there's o over over someone. Like, you just don't care. Like, you know, you wish them well. You send them on their way. But if you know you want this person, do not let pride get in your way. Do not let what happened in the past here. You know, obviously, all of your situations will be different. Absolutely, some of these people will need a hard left, a hard no. And if that is your situation, then do so. That is what God gave you a brain and all the senses so you can make decisions based on your particular life path, lifestyle, blueprint, whatever is happening for you. But definitely there will be a decision that needs to be made. And it needs to be made out of a place of authenticity to yourself. Forget what this person wants, what they're saying to you, what do you want? Do you want this person or not? Plain and simple. Just leave all the extra stuff at the door. If you don't want them, keep it moving. Tell them you don't want them, don't answer the phone, keep it moving. But the decision will need to be made, nonetheless. The, the or the, the, the decision will present itself, at least. One card for Aries. Had a falling card here. Two cards. Trust the niggle. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? There you go. More energy supporting, trusting whatever it is that you are truly feeling. Sorry, right? Trust the niggle. Whatever it is. If it's saying no, it's a no. If it's saying yes, it's a yes. And birthing a new age. 
birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So definitely this is an opportunity to step into something new as we saw with the world card as well underneath there. It's time for a new cycle. Whatever this cycle was, is completely ended. This overthinking, unsure, not enough information. So we make our own assumptions, which in turn breaks our own heart. Because half the time we make decisions not based on the complete truth, because we never really know what the complete truth is, right? Especially if someone's not willing to speak it to us. So leave this cycle behind completely or step into it alone or make the judgment to collaborate. It's absolutely going to be up to you. All your situations will be different, but definitely there's something new happening. Even if this is, this is just closure, it's going to be presented. All right, Aries, this is the message I have for you this week. I hope it resonates. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all